When doing statistics analysis, data are often grouped. The group data may be arranged in different forms. If the groups of data values are stored in separate columns, that is, every column is a group, the data set will be called a raw data set. On the other hand, if all groups of data are saved in a single data column with the corresponding grouping indexes or levels stored in another column, the data set will be called an index data set. Origin statistics X functions provide both of these data organizing modes. We will show you how to perform analysis of variance or ANOVA with raw and index data sets. Let's start with a one-way ANOVA. There are three levels of factors in the sample data set, and each level is stored in one column. When dealing with this kind of data, we need to use the raw data mode. Then set the number of levels to three, since there are three columns we'll input. You can also change the names for each level. Then select the data for each level in the data branch. When performing ANOVA analysis, choose one of the mean comparison methods to compare the mean between each group's levels. Also, there are methods to test the homogeneity of variance, and you can choose either one. We can also output a box plot to graphically see the difference between groups. Now click OK to perform the ANOVA. In the report worksheet, Origin not only gives you the results, but also provides footnotes for statistical conclusion. For example, under the overall ANOVA table, Origin says, at 0 .05 level, the population means are significantly different. Then you can go to the means comparisons table to see which two groups are different. Assign value equals 1 suggests that the means difference between these two groups is significantly different. And there are other footnotes for other testing here. In the homogeneity of variance test, we also conclude that the population variances are not significantly different. You can also double-click on the box chart to see how the data is distributed. Next, we will perform a two-way ANOVA with the index data set. We can see that this is different from the raw data set. Index data puts all records in one column, in this case column A, with grouping columns. Since there are two grouping columns, exercise and dose, we can do two-way ANOVA for this data set. The default input data mode is index already, so we don't need to change it. Specify the factor columns and response data column under the input data branch. The factors are exercise and dose and the data is in column A. Check the interactions checkbox so we can see the interaction effect between these two factors. For each factor we can also output some basic descriptive statistics. Other options are pretty much like the one-way ANOVA. You can check the options as needed. For example, we can check this 
to do power analysis of the sample data and click OK to finish. Similar to the one-way ANOVA, we provide footnotes. Then we can also read the conclusion under the testing tables. So at the 0.5 level, the means are significantly different within groups, but not significantly different between groups. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.